glide palm and if you see here dot if you say dot here you see so many functions okay now there is a concept in scripting okay uh, what is that is right who don't know anything about C language here sir I never even seen C language in my entire life anyone are there here In even in degree academics also you never seen C? Yes, I yes. yes, yes, sir. Okay. Ah, yes. Fine. Okay, fine. Sir. Okay. So uh, let me show you something. No, okay. no, no. If you don't, no. if you don't know, also that's fine. Doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Do you see the, my screen here, everyone? Yes. So, what is this particular program is, they have two numbers, they are doing sum of yes. it. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes, sir. Sum equal to number one, number two. Okay. You take number one value, okay, and then keep it in number. The, the printf means the user will, once I execute this particular program, you will get it, okay, you will get like this. Okay. So, once you execute this code now, you will get it. Okay, first thing is, first line you will get it. Okay, enter first name, first number. This is what you see, and you can write something. Okay, you can just enter 100. And if you say enter, then it will say enter second number, and then it will give you like this. Okay, it comes like this, and then you need to enter something 200. Okay, then <coughs> you will get if you say on one more now, then you get. A final word is like addition. Okay, the printf of this one is done. Uh, printf print of okay, addition of hundred and two hundred is three hundred. This is what you get the output. Everyone got this one. Everyone seeing this screen, okay. Printf is asking a question to the user and asking something to write. First thing, yes. what yes. the user written? It captures in the number. So they mentioned some number here. Okay, they defined a variable called integer. What is variable? What is definition? Declaration and all will come into later. Okay. So I took one placeholder temporary. Sk, Sk1, Sk2, or A, B, C, or one, two, three. Or a b num sum something I give I took some three random names okay then you entered hundred here and then you ask the system like keep that hundred whatever you entered into okay unperson number good now it asked again to enter something two hundred you ask system to take that number value and then keep it in number two so number one number two values are there. Then you took something called sum. This is also a dummy dummy word. Then you are doing whatever the value you are getting here, number one, and plus you are doing number two, and whatever the result it is there, you are keeping in sum. And you are printing that final value here. This is what the script is doing. Everyone understood? I don't know C language. I really don't know C language. I explained it. That's it. Everyone? Yes. 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 Okay. Now, sir, I understood the entire script. Simple. Okay. Yes, I, I don't know yes. I am not a developer. I am not a coder. Okay. First time learners who don't know anything about scripting. Did you understood this one, ma? I never written scripting. Did you? After I explained this one, you understood the script? Everyone? Don't see the syntax and all. Okay, I don't know. At least I, I understood the skeleton at least. Correct? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Understood. Yes. Now, yes, understood. sir, everything is good. Okay. But why they are written something yes. called hash include studio h? This and all I understood. From here to here I understood. But why this particular line is there, sir, here? Okay. If I execute the entire code, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 12 lines of code without having this one line in the first line, 
you, you don't execute okay everywhere you see undefined 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 you don't execute okay. to execute the entire code whatever you written this is mandatory include studio h everyone understood this point everyone understood this point okay sir then what is this sir yes okay when anyone installs yes, programming language like c language java maybe dot net something okay yes okay if no also fine when you are installing it let's say i install some application called c yes, java dot net something the system installs the library the application installs library libraries okay what is library library is a pack the pack contains some instructions that's it okay now this is a library you are instructing system that include this library it's already there when you install c language okay the library already came and then came and available in your local computer okay now this library is there you are initiating that library there are plenty of libraries are there under c program c application once you install the c application you will get thousands of library even java dot net anything from those thousand libraries you took one library and then kept it here and then you written the code here okay if i don't have this library mentioned in the first line if i if i execute this sum equal to number one plus number two system don't know what to do okay this may be concatenation also the plus this may be something else also this may be maybe simple symbol also how system know like you need to add 100 200 and then give 300 how system know in this library there is a sum there is a plus when you get a plus take the values and then add that definition is mentioned in the library that's why if you get plus here it will add these two and then keep it if not it system should give this value this is the value it should give is that correct statement everyone understood how system know like how system yes. know like okay yeah you do a plus b i am giving a i am giving b and then i am just yes. say a plus b how system know like give 300 how system know like add it sum it uh, arithmetic operation of uh, arithmetic operation of plus uh, add how system knows that system knows because it is there in the library the library have a simple function called plus arithmetic operation of addition when you use this symbol you give this result of 300 then this okay so this is the library everyone understood everyone everyone understood ma okay yes Any, every, anyone are feeling heavy little heavy here yes yes first time learners Yes. So, so this library basically which is mentioned on the top of uh, this page Maybe it I is uh, basically much, for calculations of C, but that's what i understood yeah but generally like okay. everyone i'm asking first time learners anyone are feeling little heavy here no right smooth right okay don't take it as heavy ma okay take it in a lighter manner you no need to see integer main that no, and all you don't no. one sentence from this entire stuff is entire drama is there is something called library and if you have that pack then only this one will work if you don't have that pack the system will not understand this one that's it got it 
Yes, okay, fine. That statement is clear, everyone. Now, keep the statement. Yes, we thought library to... we okay. yes. Now, I can say the G farm is a library. And it contains so many methods or functions. And each function has some value, some purpose. Okay, in service now also we have so many libraries. Okay, I will show you something. Okay, so maybe to okay next point, but I will show you something. Okay, control click documentation, right? So like Glide form, Glide user, Glide system, Glide record, Glide aggregate. How many Glides are? How many there? How many are there in service now? So, I will show you a list, then you will get stars in your mind. Okay. So, do you see something only called client here? Everyone, left side. Only for client side, we have these many. Okay. So, we are here. Glide form. Yeah. yeah. Only from client side, we have these many APIs, these many libraries. Okay. Now, Server side, you have these many libraries. So, this much of scripting is there. What we will learn, what we need in live environment is very less, very limited. Glide form, glide user, glide system, okay, glide record something. We don't need all of them, but the system is a version. I was I used to tell correct everything it's it's too much if you want to go you can do even you you we learn this one also Ajax also we will learn scripting flow we are learning here and this is a library it contains so many functions same like studio H here also we have one library that is glide form okay and it contains so many things 